There's a rookie in the NBA right now that almost no one outside of their own team's fan base is talking about, and that's Marcus Sasser on the Detroit Pistons. Before we get too far into that, this is a YouTube video, so I have to give you this little spiel where I ask you to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video, and it really helps out the video and the channel and the YouTube algorithm. But now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Marcus Sasser. Now through the first seven games of the season, Sasser has looked like a guy that become a core part of the Pistons' young core going forward. So far this season, Sasser is shooting over 50% from both the field and behind the three-point line. Now obviously that kind of shooting from three is unsustainable, but if he can settle into a nice percentage in the high 30s or even 40% from three, he will continue to be an extremely valuable shooting and scoring threat for the Pistons this year. He's also so far been pretty elite at taking care of the ball. He's only recorded four turnovers in his first eight games, and two of those came in his most recent game, and the first two came in his first two NBA games, which I think is pretty understandable. Now, he started to get more and more minutes over the Pistons' last four games, and at all but one of those, he looked really great in those games. Now, he's only six foot two, and I say only six foot two like I'm not only 5'10", but he plays point guard, and from what I've seen, he's more of a score first point guard rather than creating for his teammates at a high volume. But when you're playing with a guy like Cade Cunningham, I think that's a fine kind of player to have because Cade Cunningham, Cade Cunningham takes care of so much of that playmaking role that you don't necessarily need a true point guard in your point guard spot. But also don't take that to mean that he's a ball hog or he has tunnel vision when he has the ball. He's more than capable of moving the ball and making the right pass or kicking the ball out when he's on the drive. Now, so far this year, the 23-year-old rookie has come every game off the bench. And after everything I've said, you might wonder why that is, if he's playing so well. And like a lot of undersized young point guards, he struggles a lot with his defensive play. And especially in today's NBA, where it seems like backcourts are getting bigger and bigger, and every team has like a 6'5", 6'7", point guard, it's really quite a struggle for Marcus Sasser to stay in front of his man on defense. And because of this, despite his prowess on offense, the Pistons are more keen on starting a guy like Killian Hayes in the starting lineup because even though Killian is kind of wildly inconsistent on offense, standing at six foot five and a pretty athletic guy and good defensive instincts, he's a more than capable NBA defender and you don't really have to worry about him making or giving up a ton of points on the defensive side of the ball. But also I think maybe a six man kind of role could be a good fit for Sasser. He'll get more shots up when he's in the game as opposed to primarily playing with the starters and hopefully not have to guard as good of players on defense as he would if he was in the starting lineup. So with all that being said, what is Sasser's ceiling? How good can he be? And to me, being optimistic and keeping in mind that player comparisons are never perfect and all these guys are their own player and unique to themselves. If I had to compare him, I would think that I think his ceiling is kind of like a better version of Devontae Graham. And if you're unfamiliar with Devontae Graham, uh, not necessarily anymore, he's more of a bench guy now, but at his peak, he was a high volume three point shooter who shot it well from three, um, a solid point guard, bad on defense, undersized six foot one, um, but he was really bad from inside the arc shooting twos. Now to me, I think that Marcus Sasser could be a better version of that. He probably wouldn't shoot as many threes, um, and I think he could be a better scorer from inside the arc. I think the defensive woes will probably kind of always be there, but I think he'll be able to become a good offensive player and a more consistent one and be able to stay in rotations for well into his career. Now in the modern NBA, points are super plentiful and it seems like a ton of guys are scoring. So I would love to see Sasser become the kind of guy who's a spark plug off the bench, maybe get 14, 15 points a game, uh, maybe be even better than that, but also maybe he won't quite reach that point. Because, um, you know, anything can happen in the NBA, and we'll just have to wait and see. But I think Sasser could be the kind of guy that comes in and gives you a couple buckets off the bench and average like 15 on the year, and I think that would be a good spot for him. So let me know what you guys think about the Pistons down in the comments below. What do you think about Marcus Sasser and how he's played so far? Do you think he should be in the starting lineup, or is the bench a good spot for him? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.